All right, mate. I'm going to demonstrate how you race against each other in ghosts. Um, yeah, took me a bit of working out, but it's not too bad. And this is from scratch to show that it actually stores it on the internal um, online community. Because that's the only problem is as long as you're online, it will store it. Obviously, it makes sense. Okay, so we're going to boot the game up. Start. Loading it up here. Could be pausing this bit, but I've got my phone precariously balanced, so I dare not move it. Um, oh yeah, a bit out of focus. There you go. Okie dokie. So skip all this shit. Right. So there's our main menu. Um, I don't know if I could just zoom in a little bit. Maybe just a fraction. But essentially, you go for drive, which is top left. You then have three options. You've got tour, single event, or multiplayer. Now, you'd think it'd be multiplayer, but it isn't. It's actually single event. You go for that. And then you have two options. You have race, well, actually, you have three options, actually. So you've got race, time trial, or drift. Go for time trial, that's this middle one here. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because obviously I've got to have set a challenge on one of these races, but we'll just go for each one in turn as we play it. But I've done the very first one, Canada. And there's all the various tracks. And again, I went for the very first one, Kayush Point. And straight away, you can see there, if I just zoom in over here, and I'll just get that in focus. Come on, focus, you silly thing. Let me pick this phone up. There I am, and that's from a previous race. I've actually completely restarted the reboot of the game to show that it's actually stored it. Um, but when you go to leaderboard, there's lots of options. There's top 50 global or just my friends if you go to my friends um, it's actually got me on there which is pretty cool because it's obviously my my ghost there I am but interestingly you've got my club members so if we're part of the same club then it's really simple we'd find each other straight away um, okay so all you do is you come out of that and you go play. Actually, did you notice um, if I just select that again, it actually tells you what car I'm using. This is quite important because if you select a different car than the one I scored the time trial on, it will not, the ghost will not appear unless obviously I'm racing the same car. So that's something I figured out as well, which pretty much makes sense. So it's an Audi R8 V10. So, Let's go play. Pick the Audi. Let's find it down here. I definitely unlocked it. There it is. Audi R8 V10. Away we go. And I'll just go factory. And again, it brings up another leaderboard. You're actually going to get two ghosts. You're going to get a ghost of, I assume it's someone who's just above you in the leaderboard, and also the friend's ghost, which would be me, obviously. So I won't actually race, but you'll see I pull away very slowly. There we are. I think you can just make out as we go through. I'm doing this one handed. I'll just rest that back. Pause this for a second, this is tricky. Just pause. Let's get that back up. And I'll probably just press restart. Right, 
here we go. We're off. Where's my ghost gone? Oh, there I am. <laughs> so it just lost a little bit there. I'll catch myself up now. There I am, you can see I'm catching myself up. It's even got a picture of my face above it. So it's just, a, as I say, it's all down to the online bit. Oh my God, this is terrible. But that's it. That's how you race ghosts. I'm just overtaking myself. That's how you race ghosts on Drive Club, mate. Looking forward to seeing you online. Bye-bye.